I mean, I'll see the debate. I'll definitely see the, the debate. That will, that will heat up in the coming decades. And large numbers of people will, will see the machines becoming increasingly intelligent. That, you know, that's to be expected. But I'm glad I'm not going to live through this horror. I, I, I don't want to see it. Now, getting back to, can all this be avoided? Can, can this horrible giga death, utter leg war, be avoided? Are, are there scenarios, re realistic scenarios, where, where it just, it's just avoided? Well, there are lots of scenarios. Right? You, you can probably dream up alternatives yourself by just thinking about it a bit. So here's one, for example. Where, where humanity escapes, does, does not get wiped out. Imagine the, the rise of the intellect is a lot faster than we anticipated. Imagine some lab somewhere, boom, suddenly, boom, off it goes. This, this machine gets, gets switched on and all the ingredients for intelligence are there that the, the, the creators weren't you know, quite sure <laughs> that, that that was what was needed, but, but you know, imagine, boom, off it goes. And suddenly it's fait accompli. This machine exists and it makes lots of copies of itself, let's say. And so, fait accompli, the artilects are there, suddenly. And they're utterly dominant and we human beings, our, our fate, our destiny is then in their hands, the artilects. So there's not enough time for human politics to unfold against, against the rise of the Artelex because they're already there and they're already super powerful. Right? We can do nothing against them. And imagine that these Artelex then decide, oh, this little earth, this little speck, this nothing, <laughs> you know, we're out of here, right? And they just leave. They, ju they just go somewhere else. So the, in a sense, the threat of the Artelex is gone because they're gone. They've gone somewhere else, and we're still here, and we survive. Right? That, that's, that's, that's one scenario. There, there, there are probably lots of scenarios. But in my view, the most realistic scenario, you know, the highest probability of actually occurring, I believe, is the worst. From, from the human point of view, it's the worst. Because I think what will actually happen is trying to build an intellect that's of human level intelligence is very difficult. Right? I mean I've been trying to well I've been trying to build artificial brains for 20, 20 years. It's an incredibly difficult problem. We don't know what we don't know you know, by we I mean the, the brain builders, the, the artificial intelligence researchers. We don't really know what intelligence is. Right? What what is it about our brains compared to the brains of a mouse that we have that the mouse does not have so that we can do pure mathematics, like calculus. Why can we do calculus and the mouse can't? Right? Or alternatively, what's so special about Einstein's brain compared to an average person's brain? What, what, what's the difference in his brain's structure compared to ours? that enables him to do these things that we cannot do. Right? Today, we have no theory of intelligence. There's, there's no intelligence theory. It doesn't really exist yet. Right? And I think it'll take quite a while to, for us, you know, for humanity to get that. And I think the, the breakthrough, the, the, the means to, to create it, will come from neuroscience. I think it'll be the neuroscientists who tell us, as neuroengineers, you know, brain builders, they will tell us how to do it. Now, we know it's possible, right? We just look at ourselves as, as the existence proof. We know it can be done. Nature has found a way to put atoms, molecules together to create a conscious, intelligent creature. We know it can be done. There's a solution out there just waiting for us to, to find. We only have to investigate ourselves. And then once we understand those principles, we can put them into the machine. But that will not be overnight, right? It's too complex. We'll probably need decades to understand 
how, how that process works. You know, I mean, our human brain is fantastically complex. It's the most complex entity in the humanly known universe. Right? 100 billion neurons, you know, 10,000 connections roughly per neuron, you know, 10, 10 to the 16 bits per second capacity, which is, which is trivial compared to the artillery, but still, we have to get there. We don't, we don't understand how our brains function yet. So that will take, I believe, decades to understand. In other words, there will, there will be enough time for the human politics, you know, the species dominance arguments, to play out. There will be enough time for political parties, you know, Terran, Cosmos, whatever, to be formed. So there will be enough time for the political temperature in the debate to rise. And then you'll get the assassinations, the sabotage, the parties being formed, the rhetoric, the passion, right? I mean, make an analogy, say for so a, lot, a lot of people watching this will be from the US. So if, if I talk about, well, how, how did the American Civil War in the 1860s how did that come into being? Well, essentially it was over two issues, right? One, over slavery. So the North was just, thought it was utterly immoral. And the South were strongly condemning the North as, as a kind of dictatorship. Like, if you, go, if you live in the US, the average American looks on Abraham Lincoln as a kind of God president, you know, one of the top presidents. If you ask me, that guy was a mass murdering dictator. I mean, th think about it. In modern terms, with modern ethical standards, what Putin, you know, the previous president of, the, of, of Russia, what was he doing in Chechnya? Basically suppressing a, a separatist movement. Right? That's, that's not democratic. That's, that's, that's not modern and humane. Right? So, from the point of view of uh, a modern, democratic, liberal person, uh, Lincoln invaded the South. He told the South, you will not secede from the Union. You will not become a separate country. And we will force you to, to stay in the Union. We will invade you. And we will go to war against you. And we will kill you. We will kill hundreds of thousands of you. And he did. Right? Like, imagine Quebec, Quebec deciding to secede, you know, get out of the Union of Canada. In to, by today's standards, what would the Canadian government do? Well, they just say, okay, it's your democratic right. right? <laughs> People have the right to choose their own leaders. Anyway, so 